it's a tough thing to deal with because I deal with it too and I know we're all on different levels here. Um, and, and we're all in different situations. So uh, I just, uh, I hope that that we can just kind of talk together and everyone can take what they need out of out of this conversation today. So um, I was, first of all, I'll, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about my story and how I got involved with cycling um, and adaptive sports. Um, I was diagnosed at 17 and uh, and I, I always played sports. I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, so it was, it was pretty tough to think that I wasn't going to be able to do all those things always. Um, as far as how I felt when I got diagnosed, uh, I really didn't grasp the grand scheme of, of the whole situation at first. Um, I, I didn't see my, my future, and I, I didn't really know what it meant as far as um, me in the future and, and taking care of myself and, and all those little things. Um, and so it took a couple years to really sink in as we kind of searched on the internet and found out more information and came to these kind of um, the National Ataxia Foundation meetings, which were absolutely tremendous for us for support in the beginning. Um, and then I, I, you know, I, I'm finally kind of grasping um, what the future might hold for me as I, you know, meet other people and, and just see the effects of the disease. But, um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because you, you don't know where you're going to be in a year or five years or ten years or whatever. And I don't know if I'll be here in 30 or, you know, and, and uh, you kind of have a plan for your life. And when something like this happens, everything changes. And uh, um, so I don't know that I don't think I still don't really grasp the whole grand scheme of how this is going to affect my life. But I just kind of try and stay flexible and uh, and just roll with the punches, really. And and so far, I'm having a really good time doing that, and I'm enjoying my life, really. I I rode a bike every day to to class in college. And then uh, it, it was finally getting to the point where, where FA was progressing so much in me that, that I was like, all right, this is not safe for me to be on a two-wheeled bike anymore. So, um, so I started searching for tricycles online, and I was like, oh, that's kind of lame, a tricycle. But, um, but I found this machine, and uh, I, I've rode it a couple times and I loved every moment on it and so I just kept riding and uh, it was a really amazing feeling to to be doing something that I thought I would never do again and I definitely have gone way beyond the point that I ever thought I would go and it's all because I just stepped outside the box and said all right what can I do and how can I find help to to do the things that I want to do and so that's what it's all about. It's about just just taking that extra step to be like, all right, I'm gonna try this and we'll see what happens. I just found something that will serve my abilities and uh, I've definitely taken it farther than I've ever thought I would take it before. Sorry, I, all right, and um, so that's, that's my story with cycling.